cleartakeinfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, you will learn how to test your PC or Mac computer to see if it is compatible with various games. The first thing you need to do is check to see if you have the latest version of Java. Usually, if you're not sure, then you don't have the latest version of Java. So go to, or you could open up any internet browser and go to google.com. Type in manual Java download. Go to this site. If you have a PC, you click this link right here, the one that ends with the word offline, and download that to your computer. If you have a Mac, click on this Apple link and follow these instructions here. Once you have done that, on your PC, you would get a file similar to this one. On your Mac, I honestly don't know what type of or what the icon will look like. I assume it will look similar to this one. Before you install it, what you need to do, or you don't need to do it, but it's preferable, that you go to Control Panel and uninstall the current version of Java. From this screen, go to Program and Features. Or if this screen appears, just simply click uninstall a program. Once you're here, click on Java and uninstall. I currently have the latest update, so I don't even need to touch it. Open up any internet browser again and go to google.com. Type in the Google search bar game o meter. Go to this site here, ugamers.com. It will take you to their GameOmeter page. This will test out your computer to see if it is compatible with whatever game you plan to play in the future. Here's a short list here. If you if the game you want to play is not on this is not listed here, then simply just hit this drop down menu and select the game from this list. As you can see, there are a ton of games listed. More than likely, your game will be listed somewhere in here. For this example, I will just select Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, just click here, and this will test my system with Java to see if it is compatible with the game Call of Duty Black Ops. This could take anywhere from 10 seconds to up to a full minute. So just be patient. Green is good. It says that I meet the full requirements or the full minimum requirements for Call of Duty Black Ops. Here it lists my specs or my computer. And then these are the minimum specs required by the game. Up here is a little graph to show you how much your computer either exceeded or is, is underneath the minimum requirements. In case you have any questions about this or about your specs, I could answer them at cleartakeinfo.com. Just post your question on there. Just be sure to copy and paste the full specs, your graphics card, processor, and memory. Also, if you see red, it, it will that means, of course, your game or your, your computer doesn't work with the, whatever game you picked. And I'll show you an example. I tested this on my laptop. As you can see on my laptop, the CPU barely met the requirements right in the middle. And the RAM is 2 gigabytes, so it's barely met it also. But the graphic card, frankly, sucks on the laptop, like a lot of laptops out there. So it does not meet the requirements for 
Call of Duty Black Ops and it would probably freeze if I try to play it on this laptop. All videos and tutorials posted on YouTube that are from ClearTech Info usually have an article associated with them. So if you see one of our videos and you just go down right below the video and click on the link it will take you to the article associated with that video or tutorial and it will give you more detail on the subject if you have a question about it you could simply just click here to add a new comment and post your comment question suggestion right below the video and article and if you have a question we usually answer you a lot faster on ClearTech Info than we do on YouTube on YouTube we can't post the links to to refer you to various places or to download certain things because they just block you. On our site we could do what we want so we could link you to whatever we want to to help you best. For more tutorials, tips, tricks and advice on computers, internet and technology go to cleartechinfo.com